Hola, ¿qué tal? I'm Rob Martinez, State Historian of New Mexico, and this is New Mexico History in 10 Minutes. Let's talk New Mexico history. One of the most fascinating and intense moments of New Mexico history is when we transition from being a territory of Mexico to becoming a territory of the United States of America. This was between 1846 to 1850. There was a war between the United States and Mexico. It started in 1846 when there was a dispute between Mexico and the U.S. as to what the boundary would be uh, between Texas and northern Mexico. Um, there was an area, the disputed territory between the Rio Nueces and the Rio Grande, uh, that was a no man's land. And um, what happened was President Polk, he started a war by claiming that Mexico had uh, gone into that territory and spilled American blood. That didn't happen. Um, he had actually had American soldiers go into the territory to provoke the Mexicans into shooting, which they did, and they uh, uh, shot some Americans, and uh, that was Polk's justification for starting a war with Mexico, which was really a land grab. He wanted land uh, to extend the United States to um, California and to the West Coast. Well, this was a war that was very controversial. The, the founding fathers of the United States had warned uh, their uh, descendants not to get involved in foreign wars, uh, international intrigue. Uh, but this is where uh, the United States starts to wiggle out of some of those, uh, those warnings. And what happens next is quite amazing because um, um, New Mexico is right in the crossfire, essentially, uh, between the armies coming uh, to California from the east and uh, the Mexican uh, area of California, California. So, here's the deal. New Mexico was the most uh, populated area of the northern Mexican territories. It had as many people as Texas and California combined, if you can imagine that. So when uh, Stephen Carney's Army of the West marches into New Mexico, um, it's quite a, a shock to the system. Um, let's be very clear about something. New Mexico was part of Mexico, and uh, New Mexicans were fierce patriots of the Mexican nation. People like Padre Martinez and Manuel Armijo were defenders of Mexico. There's this idea that Manuel Armijo just handed New Mexico over to the United States and that there was no conflict or that Padre Martinez of Taos was an advocate for the United States to take over New Mexico. Um, there were actually um, resistance movements against the American invasion and occupation of New Mexico in 1846, because that's what it was. Places like Mora, Embudo, and Taos saw fierce resistance to uh, the American invasion. Padre Martinez even wrote to the American leaders saying, you cannot be executing New Mexicans for being traitors, because that's what they were doing. They were rounding up New Mexicans and executing them, claiming they were traitors against the United States. Can you imagine that? They were patriots. That's what Padre Martinez wrote in his letter. Uh, they're patriots fighting for their country, Mexico, fighting for their land, for their families, uh, for their uh, nationhood. And um, he was a fierce defender of Mexico. Um, Manuel Armijo was saddled with the uh, uh, reputation of being a coward who, who ran away when he saw Carney's uh, um, army. Uh, but the, the fact is, uh, Mexico uh, really had not been all that supportive, at least with uh, military uh, personnel. Uh, an army from Mexico was supposed to come up to New Mexico to defend New Mexico, and it didn't show up. So he was the scapegoat for uh, uh, New Mexico being lost to the United States. Now, um, uh, Mora was a place where uh, uh, the Americans had tried to access Taos to, to quell the, uh, the 
uh, resistance up there. Uh, the, but the people of Mora fought, the men fought and killed the Americans that were coming through there. So about a week later, this was uh, early 1847, uh, the uh, the uh, Americans sent more soldiers and just razed the town. They burned Mora to the ground. Uh, that's one of the reasons to this day, uh, one of the many reasons that uh, places like Mora or uh, uh, Tierra Maria, northern New Mexico, they've had certain uh, suspicions about outside, outsiders coming in because usually what would happen was there'd be some violence. So this is par part of our history that we need to be realistic about and think about. Um, New Mexico uh, was part of Mexico and then was essentially forced to be part of the United States, to become a territory. Um, the Mexican people of New Mexico in the mid-1800s uh, were not immigrants to the United States. We had been here for centuries speaking Spanish and of course the Pueblo people, uh, the Apache Navajo, Hopi, uh, these people had all also been here for centuries already. Um, so um, we weren't immigrants to the United States. We have a different story. Uh, I love immigrant stories. I love the stories of uh, uh, Italians coming to the United States, uh, uh, Germans, British, Irish uh, people coming and uh, leaving behind a very tough and difficult life to start anew in the United States. Those are great stories. However, uh, the people of uh, places like uh, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, uh, California, uh, we were not immigrants to the United States. The United States came to us and took us over. So we need to keep that in mind when we're studying New Mexico history and studying certain attitudes uh, that New Mexicans had about Americans. Americans did bring innovation and uh, democracy, uh, but there were also things that were brought that were uh, a burden on the Native American peoples of New Mexico and on the Hispanic people as well, the Mexican people of New Mexico. So this is part of what shapes this relationship uh, between the United States and New Mexico. Um, there's some ideas out there that uh, the United States had liberated Texas and liberated New Mexico and liberated California from a tyrannical Mexican government. Uh, the, the Northern Territories were part of Mexico. Um, what happened was Mexico opened up her borders to the United States because um, she needed more people in the North. There just wasn't that many people in Northern Mexico in the early to mid 1800s. So Americans started to come in uh, seeing opportunity for land, for uh, business opportunities uh, with a new population. A lot of technological innovations were brought across uh, the uh, North American continent, across the Santa Fe Trail to New Mexico. And that changed how we lived here in very good ways. But uh, what also happened was uh, a lot of Americans started coming in and the Mexican government started getting nervous, so closed the borders. And Americans kept coming in illegally into places like Texas and New Mexico. And we have documents showing this concern and showing records, uh, monitoring uh, where there were Americans, what they were doing, legal things they were doing, and illegal things they were doing as well. Ultimately, uh, the Americans took over Texas. We know what happens there uh, in the 1830s. Uh, Texas secedes from uh, Mexico. There's the battle at the Alamo. And uh, ultimately, the United States annexes Texas. Then there's a war. And then New Mexico and California also become part of the United States. It was a painful process. People like Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S. Grant were against the U.S.-Mexican War. Lincoln challenged President Polk and said, I dare you to show me exactly where American blood was spilled. He wanted to know uh, where uh, this blood was spilled that started this war. Um, Ulysses S. Grant called it an immoral war, that it was a powerful nation uh, taking on a, a less powerful nation uh, for land. So this is 
the history of the U.S. and Mexico. It was a difficult start. It's a difficult start, but throughout the decades and into the 20th century, there would be very friendly, although sometimes a difficult relationship between Mexico and the U.S. because Mexico ultimately lost about half her territory to the United States. So keep this in mind when we're talking about immigration and people coming across the border here. They're coming to land that was once their country. And I know, I know officially now it's the United States and uh, it's a difficult question, but it's a complicated relationship. It's a complicated relationship that we need to learn more about so that we can move forward into a healthier and brighter future. Thank you for listening. Talk soon. Adios. Goodbye.